Hello, hi, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Ugh, guys, we only have like five days left. This is so sad. Anyways, time is currently 3.20 p.m. I did pole dancing this morning and I edited a video and that's all I've been basically doing, but we're getting a little bit of a later start to the day. I was sitting in, on my phone and I was like, what the f***? I need to stop and I realized just because I'm tired. I've just been not having caffeine lately, which is good, but also I'm just doing nothing. Also, my closet is a mess. Ugh, I didn't even want to say those words out loud. I started moving this week. Right now, today I decided it would be fun for us to go to Sephora or like Ulta and like just go buy makeup that you see on TikTok that like everyone's been talking about. You know, like there's those makeup things that you see online and you're like, do those actually work or is it just a trend, you know? Oh my God, this sweater is kind of really cute but kind of really freaking itchy. Today, we are gonna see if they live up to the hype. Maybe it's because I'm used to wearing really oversized things but I feel like this sweater is really small for me but I think if anything, it just fits perfectly, but in my head, this is very small. We're just gonna wear some regular schmegular old blue jeans because I can't be bothered to try to figure out a cute ass outfit right now. What underwear? I pick granny panties. Granny panties just hit different, man. Like, I just feel so comfy. These are just some cute like orange ones. They got fruits on the side. Oh my god, even the underwear is color coordinating. Wow, I've gotten so comfortable with y'all that like it's literally like a camera's not there if that makes sense. I'm just talking. Like I don't feel like 1.65 million people could possibly be watching this right now. Also, booty getting big, lord have mercy. Bitch, where? <laughs> no, these jeans are just fitting me real good. Before they used to be super baggy on me. Also, I look like such a wholesome little queen right now, don't I? I kind of don't know how to feel about it. Like this just doesn't look like a my outfit if that makes sense. Sense. Maybe I'll just give wholesome vibes today. Ew, I feel like you're fucking mom. I feel like I'm your mom. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like a mom, but maybe that's what I should channel. Mom vibes today? Can you imagine? Okay. We're done. We're done. Cut the camera. By the way, I'm giving away three iPhone 13s. I'm picking the winner in five days on my Instagram, and all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel you're watching right now, duh, and then follow my Instagram at my fammy. Just be active. I'm picking a winner in five days. Jimmy, let's go. I'm just reading my comments like dead ass. That's what I'm always doing is just reading my comments. It's like I literally don't reply to any of my texts or my Snapchats. It's kind of an issue because I'll read my comments, but I'll have Snapchats that I won't reply to for weeks. And I have 226 text messages that I still haven't replied to. I no, but I feel like it's just because I haven't gone. Whoa, you I hate hearing my own voice like that. But I will read my comments instead of reply to people that are actually directly messaging me. We'll work on that issue in 2022. That's like a 2022 thing, you know what I mean? Like that's my resolution for 2022 is like to not be a bad texter. I never, ever, ever understood bad texters. I would be like, oh, you're such a bad texter. And then I grew up to be that person. And I used to shit on people that would be bad texters. My reasoning, I don't know. Whenever a text comes through, I don't realize that there's another person on the end of the line, if that makes sense. For the rest of my YouTube career, if I could do one thing, it would be filming vlogs like this or filming me doing my makeup and just talking and ranting. And the thing is, there are so many girls that successfully have done it or did it, like Verena, Antonio Garza, like so many people. And I want to be that bitch. But it's just like, do y'all ride with me enough to just watch videos of me talk? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Now me actually about to just like hit a couple. Could I get the hot chai tea latte with almond milk, caramel, and toasted white chocolate mocha sauce? Yeah, and then can I get a Just your guys's iced peppermint mocha? It's gonna be 11.90 at the window for you today. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. I was so stressed out because I quickly had to find an order, but I found one. But then also I was like, does chai have caffeine in it? I don't think so. Oh, it does have caffeine. Thank you. Good, thank you. Wow, they really do be putting trust. Like, I'm sure it happens all the time, but if you work in the fast food industry, the bitches just ever get stuff and then just drive away without paying. I feel like that'd be very common. Oh my God, it's like, I literally just want to <laughs> swallow that. All right, a subscriber recommended this drink. Let's try it. This is really good too. Yo, is like every drink from Starbucks really good or something? <laughs> it's good. Oh, hell no. Nah. I didn't realize what I did until I got here. I was like, why the hell do they have people outside trying to tell people where to park? And then I realized it is the weekend of Christmas. Like, am I a dumb bitch? I'm getting the flying f out of here. I thought like I would make it convenient for myself and go to a mall so I didn't have to drive to two locations. Uh-uh. <laughs> ah, ah. I ain't never shopped in America during Christmas before and America's already crazy, but America during Christmas, <laughs> I can already feel my cortisol levels rising. Sorry, bye, what a waste of my time, but I do not give a fuck. Thank you, have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> 
He was so cute. That police officer was so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me get your number real quick. You can handcuff me anytime. Oh, okay. So I'm in the parking lot of Alta right now. We're gonna go inside. I don't have anything specific. Oh, I just farted. <laughs> Stop mine. If y'all are looking for a product because your hair has buildup or like dandruff, I used this last year and it was so good. This eyeliner by NYX is actually really good and affordable. This is my favorite mascara here. And then I pair it with the L'Oreal Telescopic. I need this cheese grater thing. Oh my god, I've raved about these foundations so much. These are literally the best foundations and this is the best lip gloss ever. I want to try it. Ugh, the best concealer ever. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer will forever be one of my staples. I've been using it for like five years now. kind of want to try this. This looks so pretty. I want to try it. This looks so pretty. Let's try this. This is my favorite brow glue by far. Pop people listen to Chase Atlantic. Okay, anyway, now I'm at the mall again. I know I like went to the mall and then I left, but the Sephora has like all of the shit. Beep boop bop, she got a good parking spot. Oh, because it's the fact that I'm wearing crown. Everyone's been talking about this on TikTok. Patrick Star came up to me when I was at Rodeo and I was like, what? Patrick subscribed to me on YouTube and Patrick was like, can I get a picture? And I was like, excuse me, can I get a picture? It was like the coolest moment ever, but it's so cool. We're gonna try the brow gel. I tried this and I hated it for some reason. I felt like it took off my makeup. So we're gonna try the blush. I've been using the Lip Glow Oil and Lip Maximizer for like two years now and now it's so popular, but I already have one, but I wanna try this coral one. Oh my God, do you see this glow? I just tried this cause I thought it looked cool, but oh my God, I wanna try this under my makeup. This is new, so let's try it. All right, I got a bunch of new products. Oh my god, nah, I could not shop in store. I'll give you guys a little haul of what I got in a sec, but I'm gonna make some dinner and just do pre-cuts so that I can freeze them. And this way it's a lot cheaper. Oh my god, this shit stinks so bad. Teriyaki. 425 for 10 minutes. Sometimes I get in the mood to actually clean and those are a blessing. It's very rare that I'm like, mm, yes, let's clean. But it happens like once a week. A little bit charred, but crispy. Let's try it. I've never had teriyaki. I mean, I have, but I've never made teriyaki salmon. It's good. I'm like, damn, this would've been like 30 bucks at a restaurant. I'm literally just gonna eat this with some water. I have cold broccoli and carrots I'll eat it with. Oh my God, I thought I almost sat on his head. I... Oh shit. They gave me a mother freaking French pest. Revlon. As much as I love you, what the was this type of PR package. I hope that I'm not the only dumb bitch that did this. Because there is now coffee beans all over my floor. I wake up with a coffee bean in my cooch. We have a French press, which thank you, this is gorgeous. I actually can't wait to use this because I use a French press for my coffee. I don't use any like a special machine, so. And then they gave me a bunch of concealers to try. And I love the applicator. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury wands. So this is cool. Haul time. So let's start with Ulta, the more affordable. So first of all, Ulta, oh my God, we don't have Ulta in Canada. Ulta is so good. There's a very common theme, very glowy. I want glowy, I want dewy, I want fresh, clean makeup. So I got this e.l.f. Jelly Pop Melon Glow Set. It looks like this. And if y'all don't know, people on TikTok are constantly talking about the watermelon glow recipe. That ish is expensive. And I saw that this had good reviews. So it's a primer and a glow stick. So primer, obviously, and then the glow stick. You can like add to your high points. So I can't wait to try that. Then I got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion Natural Glow Enhancer. I'm just gonna like put this on my face before I do my makeup, see if it works or not. This also had very good reviews. I can't wait to do a little makeup tutorial tomorrow. I think it's fun watching makeup tutorials when I actually like the person. So if you like me, maybe you'll enjoy it. But I won't ever just watch a makeup tutorial to watch a makeup tutorial. But if I'm watching a makeup tutorial from a creator that I like, and they're like giving personality and not just like, this is the primer. Mm. Yummy. I then got these primer serum from Wet n Wild. Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I just want to try like a bunch of different blushes, I guess. And then I also got the Sweet Cheeks by NYX. So I guess we're going to try to find the best 
cream blush. I'm gonna make like a TikTok, I guess. NYX Sweet Cheeks Powder Blush, just because I thought it'd be cool to try. Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Long Lasting Hold Fixing Spray. I used the Charlotte Tilbury, but I read the reviews for this and everyone said it was super good. So if it's a dupe, I'm gonna let y'all know because Charlotte Tilbury is expensive. Cause I use the Charlotte Tilbury, I love it, but I know not everybody has, a, I don't know, like 40 bucks to spend on fucking water to spray on their face. Like, come on now. Like y'all act like I've always had like some sort of money. Like no, a bitch used to be broke. But I remember when I was younger, I would, watch beauty gurus and if they would use all high-end make makeup i'd be like what am i supposed to do with this tell me what am i supposed to do with this you think i could just walk into sephora and just buy all this like are you good my guy like the best thing i have is like wet and wild like me referencing back to that i always want to find you guys dupes and stuff to try i got this makeup revolution highlighter because it looks so pretty the highlighter that i use right now is charlotte tilbury and that's expensive so i want to try to find a dupe for y'all four in one glow makeup perfector it's really new from maybelline and i don't know i just thought i would try a new foundation because right now i use the morphe one but i feel like i talk about that way too much so i want to try a new one and then i got this wet and wild glass correct primer it's a yellow one which like i've never heard anyone talk about a yellow primer but apparently this really like brightens your makeup so, oh i got this stamp liner from lottie london because i just wanted to like make a tiktok trying stamp eyeliner you basically just stamp it on and it creates a wing for you i got the elf halo glow setting powder because right now i'm using the huda beauty one that's also expensive because like sometimes i feel like some people forget that drugstore makeup exists so whenever you like watch like ms madison beer and shit like celebrities do their makeup they're always using high-end stuff and it's like Yes, pop off you multi-millionaire as you should, but also at the same time, you gotta realize that the people watching you aren't multi-millionaires to spend on a bunch of high-end makeup. Anyways, LA Pro Conceal, the best. I use this for cream contour sometimes, but I got the yellow one just to, again, highlight, and then I got this peach one for acne scars. I wanna try to figure out how to hide acne scars because I struggle with acne scars. Ooh, I got this, like, thing for my foot because my foot is gross, has blisters and shit from walking in heels. And Ooh, and then I got this fat-ass tub of CeraVe moisturizing cream because somebody said, don't use Vaseline, my it's gonna clog your pores. Uh, fine, but I still need, like, a thick-ass moisturizer for my face. So I got this... CeraVe one because if you don't know at night I like to glob my face in moisturizer Sephora what y'all all been waiting for anyways They gave me this little birthday gift. It's the Laneige water sleeping mask moisture cream and lip sleeping mask Then I got this wishful honey bomb. Oh my god I put it on in the store just because I was like looking at the new brand Wow, I was genuinely thoroughly impressed like I never been shocked by a product like this before this shit mad glowy and I'm like <gasps> This could be really good to um, have under your makeup. And then I got the Patrick Ta Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist in She's Thirsty. I just wanted like a setting spray for that glowy, you know, look. Also, Patrick Ta is just bougie as like the packaging. Oh, we love. Should I show you? I feel like I'm living my 13 year old dreams right now, you know? Because I lived in a small town, so we don't have Sephora. So every time I made a Sephora purchase, like it was a big deal because like I would have to go online shopping. I would have to wait for it in the mail. I had like, you know what I mean? Like, it was a big deal for me. Like I would have it in my cart for ages before I actually bought it. I had my little wish list on the app. So like now I feel like I'm living out my dreams as a kid because damn, look at this packaging. It's glass. It's giving like bougie. Oh, then I got this Caudal Vino Pur purifying mask. This purifies your pores and it's green clay. I just wanted to try it because it's new and masks always be blowing up on TikTok. So hopefully this will clear out my clogged ass pores from the Vaseline apparently. Oh, then I got the Rare Beauty blush in coral, like this coral one. Everyone's been talking about this on TikTok so I thought I would try it and it's just gorgeous. Like I can't wait to try this. I actually don't have a liquid blush that I like yet. So we're gonna test all these and see what's best. Then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation. Everyone on TikTok has been talking about this one. Next, we got the Dior Backstage Foundation in the Air Flash Foundation. It's like a spray. I used this at the beginning of this year and then I stopped using it, but we'll try it again and see if I like it. I remember I did though. It gave a very natural look. Then I got the Dior Lip Glow Addict in Coral. I already have one of these. I've been using this for like two years now. It's really good. And then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and then also the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I got two of these because I want to test them and see which one's better. So we'll see. Oh, and then I stole a bunch of spoolies because we need to try it for the eyebrow gel. We're going to try these in another video actually multiple videos and i know y'all are gonna get sick of me doing makeup videos because y'all are like Bitch, i did not subscribe to a beauty guru but i'll give y'all personality as well if y'all don't like makeup okay oh i'm also gonna try the rem beauty by ariana grande i know y'all are gonna be so sick of me doing makeup videos iphone giveaway and instagram shout out of the day goes to Tata Dali She says one of the best YouTubers ever. She just posted her watching my YouTube video on her story. Tag me. Boom, boom, boom. Instagram shout out of the day. 
if you want to be Instagram shout out of the day, just post you watching, tag, and you can be Instagram shout out. Anyways, three iPhone giveaway. We only have four more days left until I pick a winner. So um, all you have to do to enter is just be subscribed to the YouTube channel you're watching right now. Follow my Instagram at myfammy, and then just be active. I'm picking the winner on Instagram and in, like on December 25th. That's it. East and West, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night long. She putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest. Couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best.